What's going on guys, FlickFi here, and welcome to my first FIFA 16 career mode player review. Today we've got a very special player to review, and that's going to be Paulo Dybala. If you guys go on to enjoy this episode, show that support and hit the like button below, and as well, leave a comment on what other players you want me to review in FIFA 16. I plan on getting one more out before the full game is released because I only have 10 hours on my early access. At the start of Kurumo, Dybala is a 78 rated striker, 21 years old, and has an exciting prospect status with a real value of 10 million. However, when he sent an inquiry over to Juventus in the winter of the first season, uh, they're going to say you have to fork up 19.5 million, so about double his true value, uh, which isn't too bad. I've seen players go for quite a bit more, uh, so you can probably pick him up in, somewhere in the middle range, around 15 million. Uh, we'll move on to his player information. And he is a striker, left-footed, medium-low work rates, two-star weak foot, and four-star skill moves. Has the finesse shot and the flare trait to start off with, and the dribbler and acrobat specialties. And if we take a look at his attributes, you can see he is very well-rounded. He's got great pace with 89 acceleration, 91 agility, 85 sprint speed, and 85 balance. And for his technical attributes, he's already got 89 ball control, 86 dribbling, 86 curve, as well as 84 finishing. Really key stats for a striker, so good stuff right there. By the time Dybala reached 30 years old, he did manage to achieve an 89 overall rating, that special something status, and a value of 41 million. That's an increase of 31 million from the start of career mode. He did manage to pick up a number of specialties along the way, the poacher, speedster, dribbler, distance shooter, free kick specialist, acrobat, clinical finisher, and finally the complete forward specialties. So a plentiful amount of specialties there. And if we take a look at his attributes, he did manage to grow across the board. And that's something I've noticed in FIFA 16. Players seem to grow a lot more evenly in all the different categories. So that's a nice improvement from FIFA 15 because I've had times in FIFA 15 where players just wouldn't grow in their physical attributes. But that wasn't the case for Dybala. He grew in his physical attributes. And one other thing I'd like to note is I didn't use training at all over the course of this simulation. So if there's any areas that you would like to improve on, maybe focus on those areas in your training if you decide to use Dybala in your trainings. Uh, but we'll talk a little bit about his stats here. His physical stats I don't need to talk too much about. He's a quick player and one of the quickest in the game. But in his technical attributes, he grew quite a bit in his heading accuracy, which is good because you want to have a striker that can head the ball as well as finish the ball with his foot, which Dybala can clearly do. His dribbling is also magnificent, one of the best dribblers I've used thus far, but I'll talk a little bit more about his pros and cons and the goals and highlights here. All right, jumping into the clips for today, I have to start off by saying that I've had a good amount of experience using Dybala's card in FIFA 15, and his FIFA 16 card is basically just an upgraded version of his FIFA 15 card. Basically just starts with increased attributes, and that's not a bad thing because his pace is as good as ever. He's got 96 acceleration and 89 sprint speed. Couple that with his dribbling at 96 ball control, 98 dribbling, 96 agility, and 87 balance, sometimes an overlooked category when it comes to dribbling. Uh, is really good, so he can get by a lot of defenders with that dribble. His long shots were also really fun to use. He's got 97 long shots and 90 shot power. I'm still trying to get used to the new mechanics when it comes to long shots in FIFA 16 because I think it's a bit different than FIFA 15, uh, but he still scored some pretty decent ones. And his finesse shots are also incredible with 96 finishing and 98 curve. And as you will see from the clips, his free kicks are also spectacular. I scored three over the course of my simulation with him, so he was really good at the free kicks. Uh, but a couple of cons to talk about, his first one being his two-star weak foot, which is a pretty major con because I like having a striker that can use both feet, and Dybala, you're kind of limited to his left foot. I wouldn't recommend even shooting with his right foot outside the box and just use caution when you're using that right foot inside the box. And also, 54 strength is a con because strength seems to be a, uh, a bigger emphasis in FIFA 16 than it was in FIFA 15. You get pushed off the ball pretty easily, uh, so that 54 strength is a major con. But that free kick will end the clips for today. And overall, I'm going to give him a 9.6 rating. If he had a better weak foot and better strength, he would be a perfect 10 out of 10 striker. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this first FIFA 16 player review. If you did, do me a favor, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new around here. And until next time, this has been Flickify. I'll be talking to you all again soon.